What is up YouTube? Calvin coming at you again today with a 1956 Chevy 3100. All in all this thing's actually really solid. It's got a, a newer paint job on it. Not sure exactly what year it was painted. A um, couple little flaws in the body and the paint. Uh, you know, it could use a little attention, but overall, as you can see, you know, it's a really good looking truck. So I'll try to get in close on some of the stuff that I've noticed that you might be concerned about, but let's first focus on how awesome it is. So custom door panels. Actually, it seems like they did a very good job when they made these. Uh, they don't seem flimsy at all. Sill plates, seat looks good. Uh, aftermarket wheel, horn doesn't work. Uh, stock shifter stuff, so it is a four speed on the floor. So manual truck to begin with. It's got the brake mass cylinder mounted here below the floor, so that's pretty cool. But everything is actually very nice. It's very nice looking, headliner even. And under the hood, you got a nice small block, a 350. It does have a cam, uh, ceramic coated ram horns look good. Nice new uh, plug wires, MSD ignition, all that stuff. Uh, I'm, excuse me, MSD distributor. Uh, it does have a, your coil mounted up there on the firewall. And nice big aluminum radiator. Get you some of that extra cooling power. Now, the elephant in the room. Uh, a lot of stuff has been hydro dipped, so uh, they were going for a little bit of a custom look. But uh, we'll go ahead and finish uh, looking around this guy and take this thing for a little spin. Uh, and the bad. Let me see if I could point out the bad here. It seems like every so often you can come across some little bumps in the paint I don't know if there's a good way for me to show all of it or not but there is a spot on the hood maybe it doesn't look too perfect but you know from 15 feet away you likely won't see any of that there's a couple little spots down here on the bottom of the door but underneath the truck pretty solid not all rotted out and we do have some noisy boys if you want to go there so oh. <clears throat> bear with me while I get up it does have a nice uh, new looking bed and there was one little spot on this door thing I was going to point out looks like uh, some of the body work in a couple little spots but all in all this thing is in really good shape you'll be pretty hard pressed to find one this nice for this kind of money you know most of the time you're gonna find a 56 probably be up in the upper 30s 40s 50s and so on but I think the owner of this one is gonna list this one right under 30 pretty reasonable let's take this thing for a little spin and let you hear it Definitely moves. Brakes work good. Really hard to steer a, a manual steering truck with one hand and a phone in the other. Let's go ahead and grab a second gear here. There we go. It did not it did not like bogging on the low end of the rpm range so i had grabbed second and the truck said we don't need second so it was cutting out a little bit but 
tachometer like the engine running it's a little touchy so uh, just takes a little getting used to that's all you can tell it's got like Way more power than this truck ever came with, for sure. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end my little walk around video here, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it running so you guys can hear it. It doesn't smoke, it doesn't do anything crazy as far as that goes, but it's got a little chop. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video on the 1956 Chevy 3100. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you got a comment or a question, drop it down below. And until next time,